Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope very well. Happy, uh, well, whatever day this is. I was thinking, almost said happy Cast Iron Wednesday, but it's not Wednesday, it's not Cast Iron Wednesday. So, let's, uh, I'm gonna be making uh, rice in this video, because I, I love rice. I could eat rice probably five, six times a week, easy. Um, I'll, uh, I'll chew it to a clip. I shot this the other day, uh, the, the brand I buy, how much I paid for it, and then we're gonna get right into how I cooked it. And actually, one of my cast iron Wednesdays, and it just was perfect. And then I made it again the same way, and it, it was a little starchy, so I had to, I knew I immediately had to wash it more. But I'll show you that. So we'll get to it. All right. So this is my uh, preferred brand, the uh, Jasmine Rice White Elephant. As you can see, I'm almost out of my. Uh, 25 pounders. I get a lot of rice because this entire bag. I actually got a little bit lucky because at Wajamaya, the same bag as I wrote it down it was $25.99, which isn't bad. But I saw it at an Asian market today when I was out shooting my local eats because I saw it across the street. So I went over and took a look. $17.99 for a 25 pound bag or 11.34 kilograms or KGS uh, on the bottom here. So, yeah, I, uh, I absolutely love rice. So I go through a lot of it. Uh, one way I store it. So this container here is how I store my rice. Um, these uh, you can get at Asian markets, or not Asian markets, restaurant supply stores. Which I think I might be able to finally pour the rest of this and throw this bag away. And nothing weird and or bug fell out. <clears throat> yeah, I get these containers. Then I just, this is uh, the cup that my rice cooker comes in, which I'll go show you here in a moment. In fact, go get it right now. All right, so here's my rice cooker. I've had this thing for a long time. I want to say about 25 years. And it has its, the insert and the heating element downside. Um... I probably had this thing maybe 25 years. I don't know if there's a date on it, but the steam comes out here. When you open the lid, it catches down here. I got this at Costco. Um, I want to say like like 25 years ago, maybe a little bit longer. Apparently, you can use it as a crock pot too, but I've never done it. I've only cooked rice in this. I usually do, if I'm just, because I cook for myself, I usually do, uh, this is a cup that comes with it. So it's just three cups rice with three cups water. I don't wash the rice. I don't put salt on it. I don't do anything. I just three and three, push the button, let it do its thing. I forgot it came with this too. <clears throat> I've uh, used this for all kinds of things. Not only is it for pulling out rice, but I also use it for... Uh, there's like a little holder right here for it, uh, for rice. But I've also used it to stir cookies and meatballs and all kinds of things. So it's been pretty, pretty handy. And, and because it's not wooden like a spoon, I can just throw in a dishwasher. So, love. Highly recommend get yourself a rice cooker if you cook a lot of rice, which I clearly do. And that bag will last me a long time for all right, $18. As, as much as I love my um, rice cooker, you know, for, like I said, for one serving, it's not really, it doesn't really work for me. So I got a saucepan here. I like a little bit more, more medium one. Uh, I do have a smaller one, this one here. But I kind of like the little bit bigger one better. And I got half a cup of water. Then I have one cup of uncooked rice. And then I got the strainer after I'm done washing it. So let's get to the wash. Okay. So, put the cup in, measuring the container back so you don't forget it and, and or lose it. Just kind of swish it around. Now, Mark Kratz commented, he said that his mom told him to wash this uh, seven times, but I, I think I'll just do three or four. We'll see how it comes out when I get it washed. Yeah, I think the idea is you want the water to be clear. 
as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little bit of cloudiness. Get rid of the water. That's two times. The last time I did this, it was, uh, I just ran it through the strainer like this. But it didn't seem like it did an adequate job, so. That's all I want to do. I want to do it this way, this way again like I did last time. So, just keep washing. Now see the water is already clear, so I think that's going to be good. Make sure I get rid of all the water. Alright, so I got my water. Cup and a half. Turn that burner on, kind of medium high. Put the lid on. Just realized I uh, forgot to salt it. Now some might say you don't have to salt it, but I did it the last few times, so when you salt it, the water will boil faster. Okay, so this thing is just starting to boil. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the uh, timer for 10 minutes. And do not take that lid off. Leave that lid on. All right, so I got about five minutes left, but then I realized I forgot to turn the heat down. So heat down to medium once it starts to boil like that. And I got the little hole here in the lid for, uh, you know, let this steam out. All right, so I've been watching this thing like a hawk. And uh, it's down to 13 seconds, 10 seconds. Go ahead and kill the heat. Because there's going to be enough heat left over in the uh, burner to finish off the last few seconds and then pull it off. Now at this point, stupid microwave, don't leave that, don't, have, don't take this lid off. Just let it sit and just do its thing for another 12 minutes. While you prep your other ingredients, do what you got to do. In my case, I've got my cast iron skillet going because I'm going to do some pork cutlets. Because it just, it was supposed to be Sunday's dinner. But it's going to be today's lunch, just because that's just how things worked out. So, all right, so the timer went off on my rice, so it's done. But I don't, I still don't want to take that lid off until I'm ready. I'm just waiting on my oil to heat up because it's just, it's dragging its feet for some reason. I don't know why. Like, bro, get up to temp already. Oh, there we go. It's getting way closer. I'm just going to go ahead and call it because I'm tired of waiting for it. It's really close, so I don't think it's going to hurt the, the food, so... Panko. Just sounded good. I almost said flour, but. guys out.
All right, let's check the rice. The actual focus of the video. See that? No discoloration. Let's see if it's see if it's spot on or not. Oh, nailed it again. So I just didn't watch it enough last time, but. Spot on. So dish some of this out. This is yeah, so tasty. And I got my uh, my pork cutlet, just like I made in my cast iron Wednesday video. I just got some uh, Chinese, I don't want to focus, but, oh, I guess you can't even see. Sorry about that. I'm just doing it on a plate because I've got, uh, I'm steaming some broccoli too. Got some Chinese hot mustard. Oh, there yeah. we go. A little broccoli action. Black pepper. I guess basically I have to eat and then go right to work. Good times. All right. Well, needless to say, uh, rice came out great. I uh, I didn't have room to eat all of it, so I had to pack some up for lunch, which I had, I have to leave for work uh, six minutes ago. So I better get my ass in gear. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the description or comment, and uh, we'll catch you next one. Have a good one.